Morning everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a first for me. I am filming a what I eat in a day vlog today. Um, it is gonna be what it is. Uh, I have a three month old and I love to make my own dishes. My husband is away. So I'm basically just eating for me um, and a breastfeeding mom as well. So uh, I'm excited to take you guys along on this journey. And this is my first vlog style. So excuse my amateur video making <laughs> but this is what it is and you can only get better with practice so thanks for joining me make sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more what i eat in a days or vlog style stuff and let's get started it is about 9 a.m we have woken up at around 8 a.m right ali 8 a.m. and he slept most of the night woke up around five o'clock so I usually don't have anything um, until he goes down for his first nap I'll usually just have water and a coffee and then I'll make my breakfast so let's go ahead and make a coffee Now I have my water. This is about a liter, 1.18 liters. So I try to drink at least two of these a day. It's been really hard when it gets colder to drink <laughs> water, um, but I have to because I'm breastfeeding. So my goal is, especially since you guys are watching, keep me accountable. I'll get at least two of these today. And then I have my coffee. And then me and my baby are just gonna sit on the couch, watch some YouTube. We don't get a lot of face-to-face uh, -face interaction, so we sit down and kind of watch some people talk, and it gives him some inspiration for speaking and talking back and uh, some, some skills, some language skills. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna put him down for his first nap, and then I will make my breakfast. So I'll see you soon. So here I am making some oats. I have some steel cut oats here, which I actually bought on accident. I usually get the flaked ones or the regular rolled oats because um, they're easier to cook in the microwave, but I got these and I've been making big batches of them just because they're easier to consume. Um, so I have the recipe or however you make it uh, written on the top of the mason jar, which I showed you. There's my baby monitor because you know, mom life. 
So I'll put those in the boiling water, wait for them to cook. I'm also pumping at this time. Um, I usually try to pump in the morning. This is my LV pump, which I love. And you can just put it straight in your bra while you do whatever. Um, and in this morning I was cooking. So I'm just pumping here while I cook, super convenient. And I don't have to be tied anywhere. So um, I am just letting those cook and uh, waiting for them to be done. And then I will go ahead and put them in a bowl. I finished pumping and I think it's because my baby woke up. You'll see him in just a second. There he is not having his nap, which is pretty usual for a four month old. Um, they have a sleep regression, so I'm not surprised. So I'm putting the oats in the bowl and you will see me put all my lovely toppings on. So here I'm just popping all my toppings on. I have put some pecans, some pumpkin seeds, and I'm adding some maple syrup. This is like my go-to fall oats that I've been loving recently. Um, and then I obviously have some medjool dates here, which I got on Amazon. Super great deal. This Terrasol brand is great. Um, I would definitely recommend them. So I'm just tearing apart three dates and throwing away the pits, obviously. Um, and funny story, <laughs> during this entire like putting together my oats situation, my baby was crying in his little swing and uh, I was comforting him and it was hysterical. So there is some organic whole milk um, grass-fed yogurt and then I added some cinnamon on top. haven't even eaten breakfast yet so let me do that I'll probably do it while I feed him this is hashtag mom life and breastfeeding life so of course he stops crying when I start talking <laughs> you're so cute and he's smiling at me he just wants my attention anyway I'm gonna try to eat this while he's maybe on the play mat and then I'll feed him if he's still fussy I'll feed him while I eat this is just reality so it's about almost 11 o'clock. Those oats took a little bit longer, um, but I wasn't very hungry since I had water and coffee. So I'm gonna eat them now and have a, like, a later lunch. Sorry, it is so noisy around here. I have our little robot vacuum going and little Ollie is on the floor just watching me. Um, I'm going to make some lunch now. It's almost, um, it's a little past 1.30, so uh, my oats are slowly wearing off. So I think I'm gonna make some avocado toast with eggs. Pretty simple, but it's definitely a go-to, so I thought it'd be a good one to include in this first what I eat in a day video because it's a very, very typical Gina lunch or meal. So I will show you what I make.
All right, this is the finished product. It is not cute and it's not pretty, but it gets the job done. I have a spelt bread, so it's very clean, very clean ingredients. Um, I have two grass, grass fed, oh my God. Cage free organic eggs from Wegmans. I have veggie sriracha, which I just showed you. Organic avocados, organic red onion, and organic cilantro, and organic tomatoes. See a trend here? I try to eat organic, and um, it's really good for your body. So that is what I had for lunch. All right, around this time, I try to take my vitamins. Most of the time, it ends up being at night. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those. I have a DHA, a prenatal, a lactation support, vitamin D, and probiotic. I keep them in my pantry right here, and I'll link all of these products down below. That way you know what I am taking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I'm currently driving right now. This is really dangerous. I'm stuck in traffic, but I did wanna show you what I'm eating for my snack before we go for a walk today. So I have a Cliff Bar coffee flavored mocha, of course. And then I have a single shot of espresso in here with a little bit of drops of stevia. So that is my little snack before we go for a walk. So for dinner, I made some ramen. Um, I don't really have a recipe. I kind of just wing it when it comes to this. Um, I, I saw a few recipes online and then kind of just improvised as you do with cooking. And I find it's more fun when you improvise anyway. So here I'm making a sauce that I'm gonna um, marinade the tempeh in. So I used coconut aminos, that's nutritional yeast right there, um, a little bit of sesame oil, sriracha, tahini, maple syrup, um, I think that's it. And then I mix that all together and it creates this like nice, sweet, spicy, tangy sauce, really simple to make. And then I'm just um, cutting up the tempeh here into little strips. And then I'm just gonna marinate it just for a little bit, not too long. Next, I'm just taking some garlic cloves. Um, I really like garlic, so <laughs> I tend to put way more in recipes than maybe other people. Uh, so I love, I love garlic. So I think I have like four or five cloves there and I'm just mincing those up. Next, I have some beautiful baby bok choy and some um, like Chinese mushrooms. I have some shiitake there and some oyster. There's a couple different varieties there, but I went ahead and cut those up. Bok choy is so amazing for you. Um, here I just took the garlic and some oil and put it in a pan. That is, I'm trying to attempt to show you that it's onion powder. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> onion powder um, and garlic and oil. And then I think that one's a ginger powder. I don't know why I didn't show you, but there you go. Um, so I put that all in the pan, let that uh, cook a little bit. Um, anyway, bok choy is so good for you. It has tons of calcium and it's just such a beautiful uh, vegetable to add into ramen, so good. Here I'm adding in four cups of chicken broth and then I added one more cup. Um, actually, no, I didn't. Um, <laughs> so I have some chicken broth there that I just poured in and I'm just improvising with some salt and pepper. I also add some coconut aminos. It gives it like that soy sauce kind of taste and then some sriracha. So I like to put that in the broth and then I'm boiling some water in that front pot and I add the ramen and they only need about four or five minutes to cook. So. I am cooking those now, and then I just added the mushrooms into the pot so they can cook a little bit, and the bok choy, so they'll kind of steam with the broth. So that's kind of how I cook those two vegetables.
Here I'm just adding some ice uh, to some water and that the uh, hard boiled egg is gonna go into when it is done cooking. I'm also draining the ramen over by the sink and I just popped the, um, I love not using a lot of dishes. Love my husband, but he uses so many dishes when he cooks. <laughs> He's so messy. <laughs> um, so I like to use the minimum amount of dishes possible. So I'm just using the exact same pot that the ramen was in and put the tempeh in that to cook after it's been marinating for a little bit. I'm stirring the broth, making sure everything's cooking. And I just put the drained ramen back in that bowl that the tempeh was in because there's also a little bit of sauce left in the left in there. So. I'm like, let's soak it up. Let's soak up all those flavors, so. And yes, I'm gonna drink my water now. Drink, drink, drink. As a breastfeeding mom, I need tons of water. And I'm also already in my pajamas. So when I put my baby to bed, I hop in the um, bathroom and get all ready for bed. And um, that way when I go in the bedroom, because he sleeps in our bedroom, I can just slip right into bed and not have to worry about it. So I just showed you a few things that I was cooking, the tempeh and the broth, it's looking really good. And let's keep going. So I am hard boiling an egg here. You don't have to add an egg on top of your ramen, but I think it's real good, especially if it's runny. Oh my gosh. So I set the timer for six minutes, put it in boiling water, and I'm just plating up everything else. So I popped the broth and um, all the vegetables on top of the ramen noodles that were already in the bowl. And then I cooked the tempeh so they were done, popped them on top. Um, and then I am just waiting for that egg. So I love to sprinkle the top with sesame seeds. I think it just adds that like Asian quality, that Asian flavor, as well as some cilantro. I keep a big thing of cilantro in my fridge always because it goes well with like, you know, Mexican dishes and also Asian dishes. So you can kind of use it for both. I'm also putting some sriracha on top and what I grabbed out of the fridge was some lemon juice. I didn't have any lime juice, but I would have used a lime if I did. So I'm just plating everything up and then I'm just gonna wait for that egg. <laughs> just to let you know, this is my second attempt at this egg. Um, the first one I totally cracked and it went all in the water. So this one worked out, thank God. So I had a big bowl of ramen here. I actually didn't eat all of it. I put the rest in a container, which you'll see here. Um, and I ate it the next day, so, so good. And then for my dessert, I had some cheddar cheese, organic cheddar, some organic grapes, and some rosemary crackers. Mm, mm, mm. Well guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you for watching what I eat in a day as a breastfeeding mom of a four month old, as well as solo parenting. Um, I don't really have too much time to put stuff together. So those were some, those are more lavish meals that I you know, make every once in a while. It's not a perfect day and it doesn't always look like that. Sometimes I just will eat a bar for lunch and sometimes I'll eat like a turkey sandwich and just throw it together so this was more of like my meals that I love you know starting with the oatmeal that I have leftovers as well as the ramen I ended up having leftovers for that too so that's like two meals in one um, and I'll save that for the next day or a couple days later so that's always nice to get a couple meals out of it but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like and subscribe I am going to continue to sip my water and just enjoy the relaxing quiet of the night while my baby sleeps but I'll see you guys next time